हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 ऑफ पेपर 2 फिजिक्स 2021 जेई एडवांस्ड सो लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन लुक्स लाइक अ स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड वन सो इट सेज दैट इन ऑर्डर टू मेजर द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस आर1 सो दैट मींस दिस वैल्यू ऑफ अ सेल ऑफ ईएमएफ अ मीटर ब्रिज ऑफ वायर रेजिस्टेंस 50 ओम सो दिस एंटायर वायर इज हैविंग रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ 50 ओम अ रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ आर0 बाय 2 अनदर सेल ऑफ ईएमएफ ई0 बाय 2 इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस आर व्हिच आई कैन सी हियर and a galvanometer gr used in the circuit as shown in the figure if the null point is found at l equal to 72 cm then the value of r1 so uh okay first of all if this length is 72 cm and this entire length was equal to 1 meter that means 100 cm then uh the first of the foremost thing that we can do so 50 ohm upon 100 cm so that means we have a resistance of 0.5 ohm per cm that means the resistance of this part of the wire would be 0.5 into 72 which is 36 ohms and similarly this length would be 28 cm and hence the resistance of this part would be 14 ohms okay now we can just make a simple circuit out of it and uh, since the galvanometer is showing zero deflection it means that there is no current in this branch which basically means that the current is flowing like this is that correct do you agree with this idea if the galvanometer branch is not having any current in it or it's showing zero deflection then the current must flow like this so it's basically a single loop circuit so the current flowing in the circuit can be very easily written as net emf of this loop divided by total resistance so the net emf of this loop would be equal to e only and the total resistance would be given by r1 plus 36 plus 14 plus r not by 2 so that will become actually r1 plus uh, 50 plus 25 is 75 so that is the current okay this much current is flowing now since there is no current in this resistor r the potential difference across this r should be zero which means the potential here and the potential here they vary or they differ by e not by 2 okay so we can also write this potential difference as i into 14 plus 25 so uh i uh, is e by r1 plus 75 that is current into resistance so resistance is 14 plus um, r not by 2 so that's 25 uh okay yeah that's 25 only r not by 2 okay so this is equals to e by 2 so e e gets cancelled if we solve this we get 28 plus 50 okay is equals to r1 plus 75 that means r1 is 78 minus 75 so that's 3 so the value of r1 is what we set out to find and the value of r1 is coming out to be 3 ohms so that should be the answer all right guys uh, it was a simple question i hope you got the solution take care and i will see you in the next question bye bye